Hey everybody, welcome back to Drug Talk. As always, I'm your host, Gary Campbell. Today we're going to be discussing a medication known as levofloxacin. Its brand name is Levaquin. And before I talk about the medication itself, just keep in mind that this channel is for information purposes only and not to be used as a source for recommendations for your personal health care. And quickly, if at any time during this video you find this information to be valuable, please consider leaving a like on the video as it would really help me with the YouTube algorithm. So first, what will we cover in this presentation? We'll start by talking about how levofloxacin works. We'll then discuss indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, followed by contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe levofloxacin. We'll then discuss examples of dosing, and then stick around to the end where we'll talk about side effects with percentages. So how does levofloxacin work? Well, levofloxacin is a quinolone antibiotic. Its mechanism of action involves inhibition of bacterial topoisomerase 4 and DNA gyrase. These enzymes are required for DNA replication, transcription, repair, and recombination. Now, in terms of indications or reasons we would prescribe this medication to a patient, we may see it used in the treatment of a community-acquired pneumonia or a urinary tract infection. Some patients with infections of the skin or subcutaneous tissue may, may use this medication. It may be used to treat acute pyelonephritis, chronic bacterial prostatitis, as well as other indications. With respect to contraindications or reasons we would not be able to prescribe levofloxacin, we wouldn't give this medication to a patient who had a hypersensitivity to levofloxacin or other quinolones or to other components of the formulation. Note about dosing with levofloxacin. So in the treatment of community-acquired pneumonia, we would typically see 500 milligrams given intravenously or orally every 24 hours for 7 to 14 days, or a patient could receive 750 milligrams intravenously or orally every 24 hours for 5 days. For an infection of the skin or subcutaneous tissue, if it was uncomplicated, we may see 500 milligrams intravenously or orally every 24 hours for 7 to 10 days. And if it was a complicated infection, we may see 750 milligrams intravenously or orally every 24 hours for 7 to 14 days. Now, as with all medications, there are some side effects or adverse reactions that patients may experience while using levofloxacin. So we'll go over some of those here now. 5% may experience diarrhea, while 7% may experience nausea. Dizziness may happen 3% of the time, and a headache may occur 6 to 10% of the time. Insomnia seems to happen in 4% of patients. Now, some more rare but serious side effects would be potential hallucinations, a hypersensitivity reaction, or hypoglycemia, or low blood sugar. So we're going to talk about today with levofloxacin or levoquin. As always, I'm very thankful you took the time to come by and watch one of my videos. If you found this information valuable and you'd like to help grow this channel, you can like the videos, share the videos, and most importantly, subscribe to the YouTube channel. There's also some links in the description you can check out as well. But for today, take care.